Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's um, April 20th, Friday morning, and uh, the grain markets were relatively quiet, quiet most of the night here uh, toward the uh, early our late part of the session around 7:15 or so we've seen the bull spreads in corn work a little better where the uh, may corn was up uh, three to four cents and december corn up only slightly and uh, a lot of this is because of the uh, two reasons you've got two different markets right now you've got the old crop that is counting on and anticipating uh, purchases by china we're waiting for the eight o'clock time frame to come around here this morning and to see if the USDA is announcing any additional sales uh, to China. So that's affecting the old crop. The new crop is uh, the weather. We've got uh, weather in the six to ten day forecast, uh, dry and uh, warm in the western corn belt, a little cooler but dry in the eastern corn belt. So actually that gives us some ideal planning conditions as we move forward uh, here and especially the timing we'll be in that last week of April first week in May where uh, typically we plant most of the corn so that uh, certainly looks to be a like a, a good thing and a and a timing uh, wise we should have uh, uh, the corn crop going in in, in ideal conditions the uh, outside markets also providing some support here this morning we've got the dollar uh, that kind of reversed overnight it was stronger now we're sitting at about 15 to to 20 lower uh, you've got crude oil stronger here as we speak and uh, gold markets higher stock markets higher as well so the outside markets providing some incentive and we'll have to see will we get the uh, fund buying coming back into this market we've seen the funds be very active the first few days of the week and many times they uh, don't do much on friday but uh, uh, we'll we'll have to see if they do come in and buy or not but uh, they've certainly been in a liquidating phase the other thing that we're watching for today is the cftc report this afternoon to give us an idea of what kind of uh, activity the funds have been doing here this last week uh, we'd have to anticipate that they continue to liquidate their uh, commodity holdings uh, as uh, commodities were lower several days this week so uh, those are the things that we're uh, we're looking forward to here today uh, expect uh, a quiet day with spreaders uh, taking uh, most control here again as they try to position themselves uh, for the weekend in the livestock trade we had uh, cash cattle uh, trade in the south pretty much at steady uh, to 50 higher this week uh, the north however yesterday late seemed to uh, find a little bit of strength we uh, had uh, Nebraska and Iowa trade cattle at uh, 199 to 200 here uh, late yesterday. Cutout values were stronger again in the cattle, putting uh, choice up 132, uh, select up 87, uh, and pork complex. Uh, we had pork cutout values there up 93 yesterday. So. Uh, not a, a convincing story yet that the futures have uh, bottomed from a seasonal basis, but we're looking for uh, some seasonal lows to be made in here in the uh, the livestock complex, and uh, with the uh, the heavy fund activity that we've seen over the last few days, if we could get a strong close going into the weekend, we think uh, there it would be a much better chance of uh, confirming this uh, seasonal low and uh, look for. Uh, some strengthening prices here over the next several months. So that's that's what we're looking for. We're uh, going to monitor these markets for you. And I also want to remind you that this is the last day that we you can sign up for the Allendale uh, Planner Special, the six months for $99. If you're not a subscriber and you want to subscribe, this is a great opportunity for you. We wish everybody a very successful trading day, a safe weekend, and we'll talk to you on Monday morning. Thank you.